What is a real red velvet cake? Well, I'll tell you what it's not. It's not just a cake colored with red food coloring. Oh no, my friend. A classic red velvet cake is so delicious. It's flavored with buttermilk, cocoa powder, a touch of vinegar, and a little bit of red food coloring just to bring out that beautiful classic red velvet look. Then you frost it up with some classic cream cheese frosting. That's what a real red velvet cake tastes like. It is moist, it is fluffy, it is oh so delicious. If you thought you didn't like red velvet cake before, you gotta try this one. Go ahead and place your buttermilk, your oil, and your eggs in a small container and whisk to combine. Next, we're gonna add in our melted butter, our vinegar, our vanilla, and a little bit of red food coloring just to give the red velvet cake that classic color. You can add more or less depending on your preferences. Next, we're gonna place our flour, sugar, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt in the bowl of our stand mixer and just attach the paddle attachment. And now we're going to add in our liquid ingredients just until combined. And I swear, that's it. That's so super simple and makes the most tender, moist, and delicious red velvet cake with a classic red velvet flavor. It's seriously so good. I'm just preparing my cakes with some cake goop. It's a homemade pan release that works really good and you don't have to use any parchment or anything in the bottoms of your pans. I'm doing three six inch by two inch layers, but you could also do two eight inch layers. And just divide your batter into those evenly. And we're gonna bake at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. Once your cakes have been cooling for about 10 minutes, you can turn them over onto a cooling rack, let them cool even further or pop them into the freezer for about 20 minutes or so until they're not warm anymore. And then you can start frosting your cake. I'm using cream cheese frosting. Uh, this is my classic cream cheese frosting recipe, but you can also use ermine frosting, you can use crusting cream cheese frosting, or you could even use regular buttercream. It all goes really well with red velvet. I'm just frosting this cake with a nice thin layer and then putting it into the freezer for about 20 minutes just to firm up that frosting. Now when we add in our final layer of frosting, we won't get any of those red crumbs in the surface. If you need more information on how to frost and fill your first cake, you can check out my video for beginners on how to make your first cake. Super good information in there. I'm gonna use my bench scraper to just smooth out that outside, make it nice and smooth, fill in any gaps. I'm just using my offset spatula to continue to fill in some of those holes and things, and then going back over it with my bench scraper to smooth it out. Then use your offset spatula to just smooth out that top edge, get it nice and flat. I'm not obsessing over getting this perfect, it's kind of rustic. Now I'm using some of my leftover cake crumbs that I used to trim the domes off the tops of my cakes, crumpled them up and used it as decoration for the tops and sides of my cake, because I think it looks really pretty. Don't wanna waste that bright red cake. I'm using a 1M piping tip to pipe some little dollops of my cream cheese frosting around the top edge of the cake just to finish it off and give it a pretty little look. Super simple frosting technique, but very effective. And that, my friends, is how you make a classic red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting. So good.